يحتاج بعدين نفحص ال إذا كان الصوت يشتغل عندي حتى ما نصير نفس مشكلة المحاضرة الماضية على العموم المادة اللي لحد الآن تكون داخلة بامتحاننا القادم هي هو two speaking strategies from unit one One of them is arguing your point, how to argue, argue uh, your point, how to give your uh, own opinion, which may be different from the uh, other's opinion in a polite way. And also, we said that we're going to include the follow-up questions also other subjects that would be included in our exam so these two strategies in unit 1 are included while in unit 4 we have this exercise in git write it to section which is also included it is demanded uh, to know the definition of each of these expressions also another speaking strategy about how to make a complaint in a shop is also included in our exam this one here at page 23 and the did you know section is also included This page, this page, uh, page 24, uh, doesn't have any subjects or exercises that are included in the exam. While the next page, page 25, uh, there is an there is a speaking strategy about how to reach to an agreement whether you would accept the prize or you would reject it uh, there are different expressions you can use for each of these uh, terms or situations so if you wanted to accept the prize you could uh, يعني you could say or utter any of these sentences while here these expressions or these phrases are used to what to uh, refuse or reject a prize and here in chapter 5 we discuss the categories of the of movies or films and this is also an important exercise you should know at least يعني, five categories of movies uh, while here there is a general or a, uh, an information about the countries and the movies that يعني, got the Oscar uh, for the best foreign movie uh, in in the Oscars uh, awards. So this is also included in our exam. While uh, here, in page twenty seven, we have some uh, adjectives that are used to describe a movie some of them are positive and others are negative so you also need to know these expressions uh, here we have also an exercise 
that would lead us to uh, to write a paragraph about a favorite film so we have to be ready uh, to describe a, f a movie we like um, our favorite movie uh, in the exam today we're going to listen to an audio here uh, at the same page page 27 in which we listen to five people giving uh, their opinion on different TV programs and we have to know we have to um, realize whether these sentences uttered by the speakers are positive or negative and also then we have to uh, show what made us choose this kind of choice whether to uh, consider it as a, a positive adjective or a positive utterance to a certain movie or a negative one so these two exercises are the exercises we're going to uh, discuss after listening to the audio related to it. استاذ ممكن اغادر؟ ما شلونك؟ استاذ والحضور؟ ان شاء الله بس خلي يذكروني آه عندي استاذ شكرا مم. اغادر هسه يعني؟ غادر هيك So now we're going to listen to the audio file and then answer these two exercises Recording 36 A Yeah, I didn't used to like it when it first started but now I'm really into it No, I'm not very keen on it, really. C. It's very well written and everything. The acting is totally convincing. D. The plot is so ridiculous that I can't watch it. E. Some of the jokes fall flat, but most are pretty funny. Yes, so in the first uh, utterance uttered by the first person, uh, he was giving a positive what opinion on a uncertain TV program. He described it as what as I'm really into it. So it was exciting and. Uh, made the first person to what to think that he would be really into it so this is an utterance that would show the positive thought of a person about a movie while in the second person's uh, utterance you notice that the person was what was he into it did he like 
the TV program or not? Yes, hello. Uh, if uh, here B negative, not positive. B negative, yeah. And why is that? Why? What did he say that made you uh, think he was uh, not satisfied with the movie he watched? Well, he said that he what was he was uh, he was not keen on it it could be any the opposite of the I am really into it he said what he is not very keen to it that means that he didn't like it very much so we have what we have I'm not very keen on it to show that you don't like a movie very much. هذا الشيء مطلوب من أنكم إنه تعرفون التعبير اللي ممكن يكون إيجابي أو سلبي بالنسبة لفيلم معين. فبالمستقبل ممكن إنه أسألكم إن أظهر إعجابكم فيلم معين باستخدام عبارة معينة. فالمفروض إنه تعرفون هاي العبارات الخمسة وتستخدمون واحدة منهم إذا كانت بوزيتيف وواحدة منهم إذا كانت نيجاتيف فأول واحدة اللي هي بوزيتيف I'm really into it can mean that I like it يعني pretty much while I'm not keen on it can mean the opposite idea of the First utterance, and would mean what? Would mean that you don't, you didn't like it uh, very much. You didn't like the uh, the TV program. C, on the other hand, was a positive review of the uh, film. He described it as what as well written and totally convincing. And these two are some positive adjectives that could be used to give compliment to a film. So well written, well written and totally convincing. Here in D the woman described it as ridiculous ridiculous and uh, I can't really remember but she also described it as I think it was boring or something like that but anyway so the utterances she uttered led us to conclude that she didn't like the program she watched, the TV program she watched. So D is also an, a negative opinion and it was ridiculous which led us to this conclusion. Here in E uh, it was also a, a compliment to the TV program saying that there were some flat jokes but uh, it was an overall pretty funny pretty funny pretty funny led us to conclude that it was a positive opinion and the Utterance was what was pretty fun. And then, but the most that, but uh, love it. Ray, come. Ijabi, how the film, film, meten, mayen. I'm really into it. Would be 
the best answer for this question I am really into it well on negative uh, I wasn't keen on it or I'm not very keen on it would also be a very good answer واضح هذا الترين وعندكم سؤال خاصة اوكي خلينا ننتقل الى The unit six. And now we'll get to this two section. I got to the current method. I'm going to make the she she be the other unit that we can have the same issues. The issues how to get on it. So now we'll get to the two section. We know about the. عبارات اللي تستخدم مع مشاكل معينة في الجسد مثلا ال injection هي شنو number five المقصود بها this tool اللي هي الأبرة while an inhaler تعرفون شنو معنى inhaler معنى inhaler معنى كلمة inhaler اعتقد ان الامتحان راح يكون من 15 درجة و راح تكون 5 درجات على اليومي ف ممكن تكون بهالطريقة أو ممكن تكون ثمنتاش أنا حاليا ما مقارن بس إذا كانت على خمستاش درجة راح يكون درجتين أو ثلاثة على الغياب والدرجتين الأخرى أو الثلاثة ف راح تكون من نصيب طلاب معين يعني عدد معين محدود من الطلاب وإلا غالبية المحاضرة مثل ما جاي نشوف يعني تيجي بواسطة وممكن ما أعرف إذا كان بعض قسم منكم شغل المحاضرة وما يعرف شنو اللي جاي يجري بيها فعلى العموم هسه كلمة مثل الهيلة أعتقد واضحة وسامعها بمواقف معينة سجاد جاسم Yeah, exactly. Number two. Well, we have. Thank you, Sajja. We have crutches. Zara, do you have any idea about what crutches are? Yes, معناتها كازات. Yeah, exactly. Picture number. Number four. Yes, thank you. Sorry, Zahab Nazareth. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, and the crutches are tools we use 
uh, special when we have some issue with our legs uh, to help us walk <coughs> while the antibiotics are these these pills that are used as some kind of uh, to help against uh, when we have an infection or something related to this to it a uh, cast on the other hand is what yes okay yeah uh, picture number one number one thank and uh, a cast is here this uh, kind of thing that is used to wrap a hand or even a leg to make it heal uh, make it still and not move so that it could heal a thermometer uh, Iman Mansur yeah exactly Uh, okay. okay, so the thermometer is here, this tool here, uh, that helps us get the temperature. Here we have also other problems that may face some people with skin problems, insomnia, Yeah, it's pronounced as what? At insomnia. Uh, and we have asthma. Here the TH are silent. And asthma means the kind of uh, problem we have with our breathing breathing uh, devices or breathing uh, disorder the rabu where hay fever where we have migraines the high blood pressure stress الجهد اللي ممكن يتعرض له الشخص. We have here some uh, expressions or vocabularies that are used uh, and in some special conditions. A dermatologist is what is someone is specialized in skin problems. So the doctor or the person who is specialized in a skin problem would be called what a, a dermatologist or dermatologist. So ophthalmologist is the person who treats eye diseases, while a pyodi Nutrition, nutrition is special. Is specialized in what children's health. These three are not yani, very common. Masa and biyakatiya and lakin then it's in a yeah psychiatrics. Uh, psychiatrist is what shaksili yani مختص بالأمراض العقلية. هاي ممكن مثلاً تشاهدوها بالأفلام أو غير شيء تستخدم 
اكثر من دنيزات السقات وايضا الكارديولوجيست اللي هو المتعلق بالقلب مختص بالاشعه المتعقده فهذني ايضا ممكن تسمى ك اسماء الاختصاصات المتعلقه بالامور الطبيه ايضا مطلوب دينول سكشن و ال get ready to section هنا هسه كيفية التعبير عن symptoms كيفية التعبير عن الأعراض اللي عندنا اكو بعض المصطلحات اللي ممكن تساعدنا على التعبير عن الأعراض اللي عندنا حتى يعرف المريض مثلا الدكتور مثلا شنو المرض اللي نعاني منه فمن ضمن هاي العبارات هي انه I've got a I've got a pain in my مثلا shoulder أو حتى الهيد مثلا I've got a pain in my head in my hand إلى آخر فهاي من الطرق اللي ممكن تعبر عنها عن شنو عن الجزء اللي من جسمك اللي تعاني به ف I've got a pain in my هي طريقة من بعدها تستخدم المكان اللي تعاني منه تعاني به من هذا I think I'm suffering from أيضا طريقة أخرى I'm coming down with أو تعبر عن الشيء اللي يؤلمك ومن بعدها تقول aches and my head aches or my arm aches so these are what are some uh, strategies or tools or words that you can use in a sentence to what to express or to describe the symptoms you have um, I've got uh, I've got a pain in my uh, hand or I think I'm suffering from uh, stress or coughing or uh, where I'm coming down with uh, the flu or a arrow uh, or oh, my arm aches my head aches even my teeth مثلا aches or uh, and then هاي أيضا مطلوبة إنه كيف بإمكاننا أن نوصف الأعراض اللي تصير عندنا how to describe a symptom أعتقد راح نتوقف هنا